friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another video and this is going to be a very, very highly requested video. This is going to be a swatch video of all of my LA Splash liquid lipsticks. So they're all in this little drawer here that I took out of my, my thing right there, right there. So they're all in here. I just counted like right before this video and I have... 17 of them, meaning my lips are going to burn so bad after this video. So, let's just get into the pain, please. I just can't even take it. I just can't even take it. I've been dreading this video, not because, you know, I know you guys really want to see this video, and I love to see lip swatches, but I know how much they hurt, and I know how irritated people's lips get, and I'm just not looking forward to that. But it's okay. For you, I will sacrifice. So, let's just jump into the paint. So this first color that I am wearing is called Innocent Vixen. And it is a very nude color on my skin. I would have to line this. And I have actually worn this shade before and I have lined it very much. Because on me it looks very pale and very ghostly. And it kind of washes me out a little bit. And I don't really like that look. I'm not about it. I like when my lips have a little bit more definition. So if you're paler than me, this is probably going to be a good color for you. If you are a little bit darker than me or my skin tone, then I would suggest, you can still get it of course, just line your lips a little, a little bit. Ugh. This next one that I'm wearing is the color Charmed, which is kind of like, it looks kind of like Innocent Vixen, just mixed with a little bit more rose in it. It's very dusty, still very ashy, I would still really line your lips if you're my color or deeper, but like I said, Lighter skin tones would love this. I actually haven't worn this one until right this moment. I thought it would be a little bit more complimentary on my skin than Innocent Vixen, but it it seems just as, like, unattractive as the other one does. <laughs> but anyways, this is Charmed. This next shade is called Love Good, and to me, this is like a dusty, mauve nude. This lip... I think a lot of people would consider a Kylie Jenner 90s whatever you want to call it lip and I really like the way that it looks on my skin. These really do dry extremely fast but I do have to say when I'm putting this on and I like open my mouth to do like the cupid's bow area it's um it's it tastes like it tastes nasty it smells nasty like in that area it's not it's not the best like smell or taste or whatever but I really enjoy the formula so much like I really don't even care so this is love good. So this the next one is called Ghoulish. Now the thing with this one is that they have two different versions of it. The first one I believe is the one that I have right now and I'm wearing. And I think they brought that back as OG Ghoulish. But this is a gray. Like it's like a gray. It's like a cement gray. And the new one they have is more close to Lime Crime's Cashmere. Which I don't have that one. But I prefer this one anyways. I mean... This is gray. I love gray. This is beautiful. Like, yes. This next color is called Nymphadora. And I don't like this color. <laughs> I put it on. I thought this was going to be one of the ones that I like the most. And I honestly do not like it. It's extremely 90s. So if that's what you want, you want a 90s lip color, this screams 90s. It's extremely brown with like a hint of rosy tone. This looks very Kylie Jenner-esque. But I just don't like how it looks on myself, personally. Maybe I need to wear it for a little bit more time when I actually have a lip line. Maybe maybe then I'll like it. Or maybe with a different um, eye makeup. But I do not like it like on my skin, skin tone. But I feel like on lighter skin tones, this would look very nice. This is a color Latte Confession, which this one I do really like on my skin. It's more rosy. Um, I, I like this color a lot. It's very rosy. It doesn't really have much of a mauve tone to it. It's more just like a straight up rose. I did use this in my most recent tutorial, the Dramatic Eye, not my most recent one, but a recent one. The Dramatic Eyes with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette, which I'll link down below. But yes, I do really like this. And this one is very, very popular, I know. And this one is supposed to be a dupe for Lime Crimes Riot. I don't have Lime Crimes Riot to compare them to, but... I'm not going to get Lime Crimes right, sorry. But this next color is called Vindictive, and this color actually went on smoother than the previous one. So this color is definitely a blue color, but it has a lot of hints of gray in it, so it kind of 
it's kind of like a blue gray it kind of looks like melt space cake I did wear this one in my iMats haul my iMats and Sephora VIB haul which I also linked down below and I just love this color I love everything about this color and I would wear this every day every day every day so this is what's it called vindictive <laughs> This next one is called Phantom and it's kind of like a gray blue purple. Yeah. I didn't record myself putting these on and I probably won't we're putting this one on and I probably won't for like the next rest that I have because my lips look so disgusting under this. <laughs> they are disgusting. After Vindictive, like they're never coming back. So we're just just gonna move past that. Look at my hands though, like wow. But anyway, so this is Phantom. They have another purple shade called Criminal, and I really wanted to get my hands on that one at IMATS, but they were sold out. I think Criminal is just a little bit more pink-based, and this one's a little bit more blue-based. But I do really like this color, like I said, so this is Phantom. This color is called Till Midnight, and honestly, I'm not doing this color justice at all right now. Because underneath this, my lips look bruised and, like, jacked up, so, like... It's just not doing the color justice right now. But this is an orange shade, and they do have, I believe, two orange shades. Um, this is the first one that they had, so I just picked up whichever one they had when I placed my order. So I'm not really sure what the difference is between the two oranges, but this I don't think is a neon orange. It's like an orange that leans very much on the red side, and I think it's very pretty, and for spring and summer, I would definitely recommend this. So this is Till Midnight. This next one is called Esmeralda, and this is like a royal purple shade, but what's cool about this is that this one is from the Studio Shine Lip Luster Collection, like it's not just a regular liquid lipstick. This one is actually a metallic finish, so you can see that it's not just like a plain flat matte, it definitely has like a little bit of a metallic sum sum going on there, and I think this is a very special and unique shade. I have never found anything like this. This shade is called Nagini and I would have to say this is probably like my second favorite one that I have shown so far. My first favorite one is Vindictive. I just, it's just my baby. I just love that color. But this is definitely my second favorite one. It's so weird. Well, it's not weird. I mean, it's expected that all my favorite colors are like the weird ones. But I love this color. This is like the most beautiful shade of Hunter Green that has ever walked the face of the planet, even though it hasn't really walked. So this color is called Feline. F Feline. Feline. Feline? I'm not really sure, but I'll write the name here because this is like the only one that I don't know how to pronounce, I think, I hope. <laughs> so this is the color Feline, and this is another one of the lip luster ones, so it does have a metallic finish. I wouldn't say the metallic finish is so prominent as it is in Esmeralda. This one is like a deep plum, with, like I said, that metallic finish that it has, and I just love this. I love it with this eye look. I love it with, I just, I just really, really love this one. So this so. lipstick is called Untamed, and this is like a true caca brown color. No, but okay, it's not really a true brown. I do see some hints of like burgundy and like a reddish kind of undertone there, but it is definitely a brown shade, and I believe they do have another brown shade, and I think that one's called Spellbound. I think that one might be more of a true brown, but this one definitely has some burgundy undertones to it, and I really do like this color as well, so this is called Untamed. <laughs> this shade that I have on right now is called Bellatrix. In some lighting it looks blue, in some lighting it looks purple, but it's definitely purple, and it's a deeper blue based purple so we had phantom which was also blue based purple but this one is just a little bit deeper and I don't know I love this color too for some reason I feel like the deeper the purple the more wearable it is that could just be me but I feel like this one is pretty wearable so this is Bellatrix and I keep I keep going out there I don't know what this next one is called Malevolent, and this is like the definition of a vampy lip. It has some purple tones in there, some berry tones in there, some red tones in there, burgundy tones. It's it's a beautiful, beautiful vampy lip. On me, it doesn't pull as dark as it, I've seen it pull on other people, but it still pulls pretty dark and pretty nice. 
and I do really like this color. I did wear this in a Get Ready With Me video for Valentine's Day a couple months back, so I'll link that one down below as well. Any video that I'm wearing any of these, I will link it down below, but I do really, really enjoy this color, and that's all I gotta say about it. <laughs> So this is so we're almost done. This is the second to last color and this color is called Sirius and Yes Yes, 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 yes. This color is also a blue with gray undertones, but vindictive is more of like a I don't even know what kind of blue kind of like a a baby blue with a lot of gray undertones to it this one is more like a navy with gray undertones and Vindictive also has a little bit more gray undertones than this one does. But this one is definitely a very deep, deep blue, very navy, and a very much to die for. I really love this color. So this one is called Sirius and I'm so happy that we're almost done with this video. Finally, finally, you guys don't know how long I've been waiting for this. I've probably been waiting for this moment since you guys requested this video. <laughs> so finally, the last color I have is Venom, and this is a pure matte black shade. That's it, it's pure matte black. This is it on my lips right here. Oddly enough, I find this one to be the most wearable out of all of them, and I actually really like how it looks with this eye look, like a lot. I really love how this looks together. So that is it. So that is it for my LA Splash Liquid Lipstick swatch video i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm glad that i got to do it for you guys even though my lips are gonna like fall off any minute now and my hand is stained like nobody's business i am happy that i got it for you guys because you guys have been requesting it for quite some time now so i'm happy to finally get it up for you so if you guys did like this video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe but don't forget to follow me on instagram my name is just at kdanger underscore It'll be here, and it'll be in the description box as well, along with everything that's on my face right now. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!